From the second trailer, after a series of clips of photographers and newspapers being printed, Megan says, I realise they're never going to protect you, before she seemed once again crying. Harry then adds, I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself. Meg played up this Diana-like persona to hook Harry in the first place. Then it became, you couldn't save her, but you can save me. But to save me, you need to move to California and become a reality TV star. Oh, and you have to cut off your family, friends, an entire support system. She knew he was vulnerable in that way, and she played poor little naive Megan that everyone picks on, while love bombing him to hell and back. Then she played up there, they're going to make me hurt myself to really drive it home. Even if they're saying what you think they should be, it feels off and it feels fake. Plus, the way she was always staring dead on into the cameras, she wanted the money and attention, but didn't need those stuffy people with rules and a thousand years of tradition to ruin her fabulous princess role. She even threatened topping herself while pregnant. She manipulates the hell out of him. First thing he said was a comparison to losing his mother. She lives for any chance to use that. Don't leave. I'll take my own life and the life of our baby. Leave the country I'm sad and may self-destruct. Abandon your family because they're mean and I have no family, so you must be my only family. Does she have anyone besides him? He was too sheltered and got manipulated by a snake. There was a blind gossip story that says the same thing. She basically created an exaggerated narrative of her life that reeked of needing to be saved and protected, and Harry bought it hook, line and sinker, totally playing on his obsession over his belief his mother wasn't protected. The whole saving each other was exactly how they ended the Oprah interview. And here's Harry spouting the same line about needing to protect his family. It was about six months from the wedding that Meghan claimed she knew things weren't going to work if they continued as working members of the British royal family not without changes they claim needed to be made and were supposedly ignored or shot down. I call bullshit on that. Meghan always wanted out but wanted enough in to distinguish herself in the US from any other celebrity. They didn't get what they wanted so they hopped on the victim narrative that they'll milk as long as possible because they're super basic people with expensive tastes. People are already tired of this and crying into your artfully draped Hermes blanket, well, the nouveau rich jokes write themselves. She wasn't interested whatsoever in being a part of service and duty. She went to London initially to find a rich and well-known man she could sink her claws into. She got that. What the stupid woman doesn't realise is that fame, titles, adoration and respect would have happened had she chosen to stay in the royal family. Now it's nothing but a bad D-list celebrity train wreck. There's no going back. And Harry was vulnerable to fall for it as well. No wonder William was telling him to slow down. William saw it a mile off. Meg cut off her entire family and any friends that served so purpose. She's made Haz do the same, which is horrible. I've always read how close Haz was to so many in his core group of friends.